this is Mr. Martin. These are the video notes for Geometry Honor section 12.3. We're going to be talking about the surface area of circular solids. So first let's talk about a cylinder. So a cylinder is a three-dimensional solid that, that resembles a prism and has two congruent circular bases. So it has almost all the properties that a prism has except instead of its bases, in this case in the picture top and bottom, um, instead of polygons, um, the bases are circles. So a right cylinder is a cylinder in which the line containing the centers of the bases is perpendicular to each base. So this picture here is a right cylinder. So this line that connects the top center to the bottom center is going to be perpendicular to each base. All right, and then the formula for the area, the area is circumference times height. This is just for the lateral surface area, so keep that in mind. The area of the basis is just going to be um, the area of two circles. But the lateral surface area is going to be circumference times height, and the circumference is 2 pi r. Okay, and we'll take a look at that a little bit more in a minute where C is the circumference of the base and H is the height of the cylinder and R is the radius of the base. So that would be for the lateral surface area. Then for the total surface area we would just have the lateral area which we just looked at plus two times the area of a base and then again the area of the base is pi times R squared. So if we open up the cylinder we get what's called a net. Alright, so if we cut this open, so I'm going to cut this here and I'm going to open it up and I have two circles and then I have this rectangle. Okay, so since this one's on its side, the height here is H, which is also going to be the height here. So that's H. But then the part from here to here is actually the part that wraps around the circles. So this part here is actually the circumference. Okay, and again, we just talked about the circumference being 2 pi r. So really, we're looking at the area of this rectangle, which is base times height. The base is h. The height is the circumference of the circle. It wraps around the circle there which is 2 pi r, and that's where that 2 pi r way up here comes from. Okay, so there's our cylinder. Um, so it's 2 pi r, so it's 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. That's the total area of a cylinder. Okay, again, you could just think about it in terms of two circles for the bases and then that rectangle, which is 2 pi r h. So a lot of times what we'll be dealing with is this hollowed out cylinder. So you may want to think of it kind of like a roll of toilet paper. Okay, so our toilet paper here, here's the end of the toilet paper. You know, when you've got a roll of toilet paper, it's a hollowed out cylinder. So if I have this hollowed out cylinder, how many surfaces do you think we have? Well, we've got the top, and if uh, some of you remember, I know you, uh, some of you talked about this in class before, that top part with a circle cut out of a circle is called an annulus. So we have the top annulus. We have one also on the bottom. We could kind of draw that one in here. And then we would have that other circle cut out. So we have top and the bottom. And then we have the lateral surface area on the outside but we also have the lateral surface area on the inside. So we would really have four surface areas, the top, the bottom, the outside, and the inside. So when you have a problem like this, you need to find the area of all four of those surfaces. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at an example problem with this. We want to find the total surface area, so we're going to have to find four surfaces. This is a cylinder that's been hollowed out with the following dimensions. The inner diameter, um, I'm going to change this to uh, radius. So the inner 
radius of 3 inches and an outer radius of 7 inches and a height of 8 inches. So let's try that again. I've got the uh, inner radius here is going to be 3 and then the outer radius here is going to be 7 and I know the height is 8. So each of the bases let's do the top and the bottom so the area of the top and the area of the bottom that's going to be our annulus so it's going to be 2 times the big circle here is going to be pi times 7 squared and then I need to subtract from that the area of the small circle so that's going to be pi times 3 squared All right, and then I have one on the top and one on the bottom that's where the 2 comes from and if we calculate this it should come to 80 pi then I've got the area so I've got the lateral area on the outside so that's going to be 2 pi r h so that's 2 times pi times the outside radius is 7 times the height which is 8 so that should give us 112 pi and then I've got the lateral area of the inside so again that's going to be 2 pi r h different radius so that's 2 times pi the inner radius is 3 and its height is 8 so that should come to 48 pi again if you think about this as a toilet paper roll you can reach in there and you could feel that inside of the paper roll that would be a surface that has to be added up so if I add all this up then I get my total surface area is going to be 240 pi inches squared alright so there's uh, cylinders Let's move on to cones. <coughs> so for our cone, again, let's talk about the lateral surface area. That's the, the area around the sides here. Okay, and if we again, if we open this up, the cone net, that lateral area, so this part here, lateral area of a cone looks like a sector okay so that lateral area here is what this formula for up here is it's uh, one half circumference times slant height and then when you simplify all this out it just comes out to pi r l all right so make sure you're figuring out a way that you can learn these formulas so that's the lateral surface area so then the total area we would take the lateral area and add the area of the base so the lateral area is pi r l remember that l is that slant height plus the area of the base which is pi r squared so we've got pi r l plus pi r squared for the total surface area of our cone so let's take a look at an example here again if you have any questions make sure you're writing them down and asking them so find the lateral surface area and the total surface area of the cone given um, the height is 10 inches so this is 10 inches and the radius is 5 inches and we're going to need to find L here so we've got a little right triangle in there this is 5 and this is 10 and here's L so I've got uh, L squared is equal to 10 squared plus 5 squared which is 125 
So L is the square root of 125, which is uh, 25 times 5, so that's going to be 5 root 5. All right, so the lateral area is going to be pi R L, so that's pi times 5 times 5 root 5. So that gives me 25 pi root 5 inches squared. So then the total area, that's going to be the lateral area plus the area of the base. So that's going to be 25 pi root 5 plus the area of the base, which is pi r squared. So that's pi times 5 squared. So let's see, this is uh, 25 pi. So we end up with 25 pi root 5 plus 25 pi. Now, be careful because we can't combine these because um, this doesn't have that root 5. If it was 25 pi root 5 plus 25 pi root 5, then we would have 50 pi root 5. Um, but remember those radicals, they kind of act like variables. And uh, these aren't like terms. So there's your total area for this uh, cone. Let's move on to spheres. Total surface area of the sphere. So this is a little r in here, a little r for the radius. Total surface area of a sphere is a 4 pi r squared. So it's kind of interesting that the surface area of a sphere is 4 times the area of a circle with the same radius. Um, and then we'll be working with hemispheres also. So if I cut that sphere in half and I get a hemisphere, how many surfaces am I going to have? Well, I'm going to have two surfaces. So I'm going to have half of this plus another circle. So basically I would have the area of three circles with the same radius. All right, so a quick example, find the surface area of a sphere with a diameter of 12. So that means that the radius is 6. So that means that the total area is going to be 4 times pi times 6 squared, which turns out to be 144 pi inches squared. Remember to include units when units are given. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you write them down and ask me the next time you see me. And uh, we will see you next time.